What's going on, currency traders? It's your boy Capital L, and we are trading capital. I uh, want to invite you to uh, take this look at what happened last week and uh, try to get a grip on where we should focus on moving ahead into next week for some uh, hopefully profitable positions. So with that being said, let's take a look. We have Forex Factory looking at last week's action. Want to see where were the who and where were the, the big movers and shakers of last week. And in my opinion, the biggest mover and shaker was uh, the uh, dollar on the new. I mean, the news on the dollar, uh, the GDP numbers, uh, and in addition, the yen, uh, the positive retail numbers, retail sales numbers on the yen were the bigger mover and shakers of uh, last week and uh, in a minute we're going to check out how exactly that was reflected in the price action and then uh, look at the news coming up for next week to try to get a, a recap or, or a better look on where to focus on for the bigger movers and shakers for better opportunities so here we go so here we are we got the uh, euro usd uh, we've seen that action pretty much during the week was uh, pretty much ranging uh, as you know, we got a negative uh, weak outlook on the euro, uh, which is going through a recession right now. Uh, and you can see uh, as we got later into the week when that negative news on the dollar came out, uh, the euro did in gain, end up gaining some strength on the, uh, on the dollar. So um, we've seen a, a push up towards the end of the week. Um, but for the most part, it was ranging. Uh, checking out our pound dollar now on the four hour. Uh, sorry if I didn't explain this before, but uh, this is a four-hour chart, and uh, from this line, this from this line is the start of the week. So if you didn't know that, uh, the week is starting at this line. So yeah, so uh, with that, getting back to it, uh, we're reflecting to the news. We got a strong outlook on the pound. Uh, you know, it's uh, all the numbers are still looking positive for the most part, and um, as you can see here, with once the weak sentiment on the dollar came out, uh, the pound, the pound, uh, you know continue to push it upside just like the euro for the most part but I'm expecting a bigger move on the pound uh, with the positive outlook on the pound as well um, so I got into a long and uh, hopefully it's uh, just going to continue on to our profit target looking at our USD yen as you can see uh, with the negative outlook on the dollar right here as it's reflected um, price push to the short side and uh, in addition as you've seen, uh, later in the week, we had po positive uh, news on the yen, positive retail sale numbers, and that continued to push this, which may continue on to a bigger trend. You know, moving on to the CAD, uh, as we know, we had a positive outlook on the CAD uh, from last week. If you look at uh, Forex Factory, um, it's a good outlook. So um, with that being said, uh, as we move into this week, I was looking for a bigger pullback up to here, but I didn't get it. Uh, and when the negative news on the on the dollar came out, that continued to push the CAD to strengthen over the over the uh, dollar to the to the short side. In addition to the USD CAD, I've been also keeping my eye out on one of the exotics, which is uh, the New Zealand uh, dollar. Uh, now here we we got the uh, four hour price action on the Euro New Zealand which is a weak outlook on the Euro it's a positive outlook on New Zealand that did a recently uh, increased interest rates so I was looking at this pair waiting for a pullback um, up here and uh, I got it you know I got the pullback up there but it didn't quite touch my zone like I wanted it to um, got divergence and everything, but uh, I was al already in a trade, and I didn't get into that one. But um, it's nice to see the price action do pretty much what you uh, expected to do right off the big quarter. Um, so I'm keeping a close eye on on the Euro New Zealand, uh, but, you know, um, because I'm still expecting some continued uh, action to the short side. So um, we may be looking for entries. Just to get back to uh, some some possible entries, uh, looking at the uh, USD yen again, um, you see how price action uh, pushed to the downside, and it was nice to see from that uh, Forex Factory report. We can see in the big uh, reports to uh, expect some some type of price action. That uh, if we 
trim down to the 15 minute where I usually like to look for my entries we can see that here uh, this is when the week starts right here if we, we can see that we had a level pretty much right in this zone on the uh, on the USD yen and uh, we got a push a strong push straight up there on um, some candles candles and uh, then a push to the short side for overall continued to trend. Um, I usually like to uh, get in, but uh, since it didn't hit my level right on, I didn't uh, take that trade. Um, but it was another great opportunity here when price broke down below the support, and then it became resistance on the pullback for some nice uh, Campbell's candles in there for a continued uh, push. Uh, you would have had to wait a while, wait a day or so for the price action to move. But uh, eventually, you know, as long as you stick to your, to your trades and let price action do what it does. Uh, for the most part, you'll be all right. So, I uh, just wanted to give you an example of, you know, some some of the places that I places that I personally look to enter, and uh, you know, but uh, the whole the whole idea is to uh, get a nice strong outlook um, from the uh, possible news sentiment moving into the the following week. And uh, with that being said, that's what we're gonna do next. So, uh, stay tuned. And checking out the week ahead on Monday. We got a news on the, uh, the CPI on the euro. She got a weak outlook on the euro, as you mentioned. You got CPI on the euro, which is inflation, and you have GDP on the CAD. So at the very least, we want to look at the uh, the euro CAD. Um, we also could take a look at the keep an eye on the. Uh, We are success. We are, excuse me. We are also may want to look at the uh, pound, the euro pound, and the euro Australian. The reason I say the euro Australian dollar is because on the following day, Tuesday, we got the cash rate, which is interest rates. Uh, if this is a positive number, uh, the euro Australian dollar could really push uh, and make us smile at the end of the week if we got a, a decent entry on it so um on tuesday you want to keep an eye on the uh your australian again if we didn't get it set up before and also the australian dollar with the negative uh uh news from last week and negative gdp numbers on the dollar um if the australian got positive news this could uh, also really move as well with all the news coming out on the australian dollar uh moving down to wednesday we also got our news on the dollar, uh, which could be negative with the negative GDP numbers that we got previously. So um, it wouldn't be surprised if they were negative to me. Um, the trade balance, which is a uh, later uh, or later uh, Tuesday night, you know, could really uh, and the retail sales numbers if they're positive, the Australian dollar is really really a uh, look to make a move on this day, in my opinion, and. Uh, in addition, on Thursday, uh, unemployment claims. So, depending on on how those numbers come out, the Australian dollar could also uh, push push pretty big. So, with that being mentioned, you know, the, as I, as I said earlier in the week, you know, from Monday, we want to look at opportunities on the Euro CAD, Euro Pound, Euro Australian dollar. Um, Tuesday, uh, opportunities on the Euro Australian dollar and uh, Australian dollar. Um, and also, uh, you know, opportunities on Australian dollar on Wednesday. You know, um, this would give us like a laser focus on some of the potential bigger movers and shakers moving into the week ahead. Uh, if you like this outlook, you know, please feel free to uh, hit the like button and the subscribe button so you can be posted to all of our, our weekend outlooks. And um, hopefully, you found this helpful. Uh, uh, I also like to help traders, and um, you know if you like to continue to get this help, like I mentioned, just click, hit the subscribe button, and uh, we can keep these going for you. So, with that being said, happy trading.